So far in this course, we've added category image functionality through a plugin, and I've shown you how you can display that category image on category archive pages and make it look nice using HTML, PHP, and CSS. Now I want to take things one step further and show you how you can make new user experiences using these category images. To be more specific, I want to create a category index page. So the visitor can come in, click a button on the main menu that takes her to the category index, and there she'll see images from each of the categories and she can click on whatever category she wants to visit. This creates a really nice user experience and it makes it easier for the visitor to navigate through all your categories. And we're gonna do this in several steps because we need to get a bunch of things working to make everything fit together. And we're gonna start out by creating a simple post rephrase. And we're gonna start out by creating a custom page template and then put a loop inside that template that brings out all the categories and displays them in a list. To start off, I'm gonna go to my parent theme and find a template file called page.php. I'm just gonna copy all the content from page.php then go to my child theme and create a new file and I'll call this one category index.php. You can call it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. And then I'll paste in all the code from page.php. To make this a page template, I'm gonna take out this comment at the very top here and replace it with template name colon and then give the template a name, category index page. And WordPress will now register this template as a custom page template, and we'll be able to use it when we create new pages. To test this, I'm gonna take away the entire loop that's in here, and then I'm gonna put in a header here with the class category index header. And within this header, I'm gonna put in an h1 with a class page title, which is the class used by this theme and I'll just say category index. Now I can save my new template, go back to my site and create a new page. I'll call the page category index. And under page attributes here, I'm gonna use the template and drop it down. And here you see we now have the option category index page. That's my new page template. And I can click publish and go and view the page. And here we have the new text I put in, category index, right here at the top. Now this template is not going to have a sidebar, so I'm quickly going to jump back to my template and just take the sidebar out, save, and reload. And now we have a clean slate to work with. The next step is to go and grab all the categories that are available on my site that actually have content in them and provide a list with links to each of those categories. And I'm gonna do that using a custom loop. So first I'll create an unordered list with a class category index. And I'm also gonna clear this UL right away because I know that further down the line, I'll probably want to float the items inside. So the clear class will make sure that the UL actually spans across everything. You'll see that in a second. Then inside my UL, I'm gonna make a for each loop that loops through each of my categories in turn. So I'll start out with a PHP delimiter and then I'll say for each. And here I want get categories which is a function that returns to me all the categories in an array. Then I'm gonna set up each of the categories as the variable cat. So as we loop through the for each loop, each of the categories in turn will be set as the variable cat, and then we can use that cat to pull out information about that particular category. Then I'll end my for each loop, and end my PHP delimiter, and then inside my for each loop, I'm now gonna display some information. Now the thing is, you can use this for each loop to display any information from any of the categories. So first I'll just show you what information is now available to me. So if I use this function here, var dump, and I'll set var dump to cat, then I'm dumping out all the content within the variable cat. I'll save this, and then actually I'll just turn this off afterwards, I'll say die, so that it only does it once, and then go and reload my page. 
And what happens here is we get a dump of all the content that's available inside one of these categories. So here you see we have the category name and slug and group and taxonomy ID and link and so on. So what I'm going to use here later is the name and the term ID. So just remember that all this information is stored within the variable. All right. So I'm going to make a list item. So I'll echo out a list item with a class category list item. So I can target it with CSS later. Inside this list item, I want a link. So I'll echo out a href. And here, I'm going to go and get the category link, also a WordPress function. And I'm going to point this link to the ID for the current category. So I'll say cat term ID, which is one of the items you saw in that var dump previously. Then I'll close my quote here. And then I'll echo out the category name. So I'll say cat, cat name. And finally, I'll close my link and my list item. Save all of this, go back and reload the page. And now we get a list of all the available categories on the site. And if I click on any one of them, I go directly to the category index for that item. So now I have the list. The next step is to narrow down the list to only the items that actually have category images, and then also display the category images themselves.